We unfortunately just bombed down this and didn't take pictures, but right there is a 26 foot standing wave. That's how big that rapid is, and it looks really small. You should see the big looking one. Um, you can see Brad right there trying to go up and run the wave again, but we are close now, we couldn't get to it. Um, and so this is a little downstream, it's like world class big water. Uh, so this is the dam of the tank out. <clears throat> Every picture you saw doesn't exist anymore. Unfortunately, it's uh, flooded. Uh, that's really sad. Um, it was almost completed. Oh, it was completed. It was almost being flooded by the time we were getting there. Um, Travis is like, do not let your cameras be seen. Like, do not, do not. He's like, you're going to have a hard time getting out there as it is with your kayaks. So I was like espionaging around. It took like 40 minutes to get here and take the shot. And then I realized I was like sort of really far away. And it definitely took two weeks. I was just being scared. <laughs> I didn't want them to see my camera. Um, so I show this picture because I'm not really communicating well, but I had a conscious thought when I'm taking it. I'm lining it up. It's nothing special. It's Brian playing with some old abandoned fishing gear. All the villages there are vacated. Everyone was already gone. It was kind of new. Um, and I'm taking this picture. I'm thinking, huh? Like. I might be the last person down here. There's still a couple months when the river's flowing. But then, I, I might not. I'm probably the last person looking at this waterfall right here, like this. Like I'm probably the last person standing here ever. Um, guaranteed, this is covered in silt right now at the bottom of the lake. Um, and it's a really weird feeling. Um, you feel uh, lonely and isolated. It's strange. It's really weird knowing uh, <clears throat> It feels special, but in a very sad sort of way. Um, it's odd. Anyways, um, so that was right here. So we're in Lijiang. This town up here has since rebranded itself. They call themselves Shangri-La now, after the mythical Shangri-La you've all heard about, trying to increase tourism. <clears throat> so we headed up there. We thought there might be some granite. Um, and so we, Granite is like the holy grail of kayaking, so we're like on a mission for Granite, basically. Um, oh yeah, uh, cue that video, please. <clears throat> I got a, um, a video, or I'll, I'll introduce it! Hold on! He might just play it. Um, so we put on this river, we're super stoked. Yeah. <clears throat> Here it goes. We're super stoked and this is what happens. Remember, we've only kayaked one river in like four weeks. The around us loomed high, and our anticipation rose higher until we realized we were on the reservoir. So we're here on our epic first ascent. <laughs> and, uh, um, reservoir! Yep, just hit a lake. That was not on Google Earth. So we paddled to the dam and went around the lake. What happened next happened a little fast, which is why it is not on film. But we entered the world of make. Make? And kayaking is the worst term to ever use. Yeah, yeah, it describes everything you never want to see, which in our case was log-infested city boulder drops. For suicidal folks, a great cup of tea. Not really ours, though. Water on the bank, we found it! Glass 6 is all the way! Glass 6 is all the way! Glass 6 is After a strenuous 8 billion portages and running what we could, we stumbled out of there. A steep bamboo infested gorge. <coughs> this is last descent. A rafting company formed based solely on conservation. Um, yeah, so we put on this river, we were super stoked. Here's the Google map. Um, I'm sorry I didn't do another close up, but it is sweet. There is so much white down in that gorge, and it's like a big gorge. And we were real excited. Uh, we put it on over here. Well, we made it like over here. <clears throat> but you can zoom in, there is absolutely no dam going on. There's not even construction. And we've got um, this pretty sweet topo max as well. Not a single sign. Like, so we go to the, the big water section. And you're like, oh, that's a big dam. That's so sad. It's getting flooded. <clears throat> it was heart wrenching for sure, but 
in a not so personal way because you always hear about things in China and it was like we knew that was happening. But we were stoked. We were like, yeah, we get a first ascent, it's sweet, it's going to be so much fun exploring. And then you get this dam that's been built that no one even knows about. Like, it really drives home the fact of how fast this thing is going up. And then, I mean, if this happened to us, like it's all over the place, these things are just flying up. China actually now is the, uh, the world's largest um, financial um, uh, investor and backer builder of dams. They're the number one dam builder in the world. Uh, we went back to Lijiang. Uh, we had talked to Travis. We're going to vote with him the next day. We had a couple of days hanging out. And so we decide we're going to do a little kayak in that we finally know is going to be a success. Uh, so we put on the local town stretch. <laughs> Heard some goldfish. Um, we had Wendy. Travis's girlfriend put a little note on each of our boats that said in Mandarin, um, official Lijiang cleanup crew, everyone needs to play a part to keep the rivers clean, something like that. And it was really funny, we were like going around collecting trash, you know, and the uh, locals, I don't, I don't understand them, but we put me later, and they're like, oh, so that's how they, that's why the government lets them do this, because they're the cleanup crew. Oh, that's why they're not going to jail. <laughs> Pretty funny. So, big terms of that right there. Um, yeah, it's clean up some trash. It was, it was pretty funny. <laughs> little, little PR for the uh, Lee John town. So that's the note right there. A little, a little snotty thing. Um, there's a little trash we got. It's, you'll see it later. Um, it's just their, it's their culture. It's how they deal with trash. I mean, just as soon as it leaves your personal space, it's been taken care of. It's gone. Which it basically just makes it five feet into the river, where it stays or flows down the ocean. Um, so Mijiang, big water section. This is Tiger Lake Gorge. I'm going to show you that in just a second. Uh, the next picture you'll see is a tributary we voted coming right here. I'll explain that. And this is the Great Bend. <coughs> we uh, voted this with Travis. It says 220 kilometers. That's a lie. It's not that far, but um, it's still it's still pretty long. Um, so, on the other side of that ridge, in between that range, is the Yangtze, flowing that way. And it basically is dumping into the uh, Tiger Lily Gorge, like right there. Uh, that's what Brian's pointing at. So this is Tiger Lily Gorge. It's a huge tourist attraction. It's really cool. The rapids are massive. People love it, like her. She is stoked to be there. Um, it, is, it is a really deep canyon. This thing is huge. Um, and the rapids are ginormous. Can you see the people in the corner over there? You're right there, the little people. This thing is huge. This is in winter, really low flows. I mean, like this right here, that is that is like steeper than this room. I mean, that is it is huge. It's hard to get an idea. This is spring runoff. I mean, like, whoa. I'm like, that is our school. That's campus. That's Terry campus. <laughs> so in '86, they decided to fling themselves down this thing. Um, they, it was, I, I don't, I don't, maybe it's, I call it fad, but um, they were really into rafting for a little bit there. And the death rate was astronomical. It's probably like forty percent. They just hide themselves in these tooth contraptions and go off massive things. Um, and it actually has a big detriment today because Chinese are afraid of the rivers because they kill raptors, rightly so. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't go, I wouldn't go down that. But um, so it's a thing Travis is actually working on now, trying to change the stigma of uh, what rivers are. So it's more Tiger Lake Gorge, more big rapids, it's pretty incredible. This is our put in for the Great Bend. That's the exit of Tiger Lake Gorge. The put in's like right here. <coughs> Uh oh. Yeah, anyways, that's the point. Brian is stoked. Um, getting on. And so this is the Great Bend. It is magnificent. It is so pretty. Um, you're isolated the whole time in China. We had been inundated with horns, people, just claustrophobia, everything. It was, um, it's, it's just a crazy culture to be in. And this is our first time we're like, we really felt alone. It happened on that main mission you saw, but we were fearing for our lives because it was gnarly down there. But this is enjoyable. 
Um, and so it's, uh, it's really, it's a peaceful place. Um, <clears throat> exiting one of the many gorges is a big limestone area still, um, which doesn't have those karst formations necessarily. Um, big limestone gorges, that's one of them. They're all over the place. So now they're just like standard stretch. This is just another damn really, really cool, really cool colors. We were lucky to have some good days. <clears throat> uh, one of our first campsites. Um, friends, didn't move this camera. That's fire. So this is just a standard rapid. Right there you can see a baby Travis going into one of the rapids. Uh, again, it's 30,000 CFS. It's absolutely huge. Um, <clears throat> there it is, going down. Um, the walls are just always coming straight up out of the water. It's like they didn't like to be under like that. They just were rapid and straight up, which is pretty cool. I'd rather them do that too. We're going down, there's this cool slot candy coming in, and I asked Travis to throw it in He's like, no. So we went and checked it out. This is the only place we could put our bags, put the little potholes, climb over. And so I'm up front, and I get in this, this little roll slot candy thing first, and I see this. Can you guys see that? The lights? It's a monkey hand. <laughs> hey, you can turn a bottle and see better. It's a freaking monkey hand. <laughs> and then a second later, I found the monkey. He was in this little cult, this little cave. Like, somehow he managed to get down this thing. We hiked way up this. There, there is no monkey habitat up that side cave. I can guarantee that. I have no idea how I got down there. Um, so you're going down. And you're running into the springs coming out of cliff walls. It's just mind blowing down there. It's, it, it's incredible. I mean, yeah, there's not much talking to be done uh, in places like this. It's just kind of sitting back and trying to take it. You can't, but you try. <clears throat> um, so we're floating down the river. It's coming down like this. And we're upstream a little bit. Just another one of the crazy canyons. We're just all kind of by ourselves, spread out, soaked in a in traps. Like, Hey, do you guys want to spend the night in this really cool old town? And then we're like, um, we'd rather sleep on the river. And he's like, well, cool, you want to get some dinner there? I'm like, yeah, that sounds good. And so he whips out his cell phone and calls up this place, which is funny. Um, and so, because he's like, yeah, she needs to know. Everywhere in China has cell phone service. It's just weird. Um, but so it's called Bao Shen. It's totally isolated. You have to walk in like many, it's like 20 miles or something. I don't know if I'm making it up, but it's a long way. We're floating down the river, which isn't exactly happening because they don't wrap. Um, there aren't big rafts on that stretch. And so it's this old medieval like town. You can see how high we are above the river. And you hike up, hike up, hike up, hike up through the terraces. It's really pretty. And all of a sudden, you start seeing it, and it's this stone wall. It's almost like a fortress, almost. And you enter in with a tiny little portal holes. And I kid you not, it's like going back into the medieval times. I've never been. I've looked at the books. I've seen pictures. It feels like what I think it feels. I enter in. There's pigs running everywhere. There's like poop all over the place. I like, I, it felt like an old samurai warrior should be like hopping out and just like staring down. And then, like, Sir Lancelot comes and battles him or something. It was like back to <laughs> It was crazy. And um, and so you're in, the, you're in this environment like that, and, and you knew that Travis had just called the lady up on a cell phone a second ago. It's really weird. China is a place of um, two worlds colliding, and it makes a mess. But it is really cool to see. Uh, so there's Brian, uh, the guy I went with. Uh, there's Travis and myself right there. Uh, this is the town. <clears throat> Nice whitewashed buildings, the terraces, and the AC down there. It was a pretty cool experience. Really delicious food. Never really changes where you go. It's always pretty good. Um, so you head back down and sleep down here. It rained all night, and the mess. You put wrapped in the rain, so I'm mess with the eggs. My tent, my sleep bag, not even under the car. Uh, under the AC, I'm sleeping. So we're, we keep paddling down, um, starting to get into cooler. Uh, this work is crazy. This was a great one. This is inside. Um, football's going straight up. Another really cool place. It's great. Um, so that was the Great Bend. And I kind of painted a not so truthful picture for you. Uh, there are actually two dams 
There's one half down we took out right here. Um, and it's, it's pretty sad. This one, 